everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 2. I know it's been a while since I recorded. I apologize for that if anybody's watching religiously. <laughs> if anybody's watching religiously. Your help saved us! My husband is safe! Thank you! Um, you'll notice I'm out of that cave. Um, as I was at the end of the last video. Because I ran into the land turtle and it nearly killed me. Um, anyway, so here I am, back in, uh, Salmando. There we go. Ice sled. It's been said. It's been said that an ice sled was hidden somewhere in the Semite cave. Well, that's just wonderful. So I'm here this morning because uh, my body has decided that I'm not allowed to sleep until later than 6:30 in the morning. No matter how late I go to bed. Take the mithril to Hilda quickly. Well, that'd be great, except I don't have it yet. Um. Anyway, I'm, I'm uh, resuming the recording out here because I'm doing some shopping. Uh, gonna, like, fast forward through some of it, <laughs> but I figured it'd be fair to show you. I went and got some weapon stuff. Uh, I got Andre a battle axe because I could afford it because I was rich after all that time in the cave. So I'm just going to do some walking around and head over to Bovsk. So, meet you at Bovsk! And here we are. Uh, I just learned something interesting. You don't actually have to use the magic or execute the command in order to gain a level for it. Um, I told Celeste to use Bolt. I'm really tempted to talk to this guy. Not gonna lie, but I'm gonna save state first. Saved. Alright. Uh... So you're, well, you're, um, boring. Okay. Uh, anyway, so Celeste was told to use Bolt, but didn't actually get to use it. And yet, she kept, she gained a level anyway. I mean, that, that works for me. So I've got Bolt 2 now. And I'm buy, I'm a buying some silver. And, uh, I need to look at what I, like, what am I wearing? What am I wearing? Hmm. Yeah, I need some head and arm for him. And for him, yeah. Um, I'm not sure about her. Like, her equipment sucks right now, but I don't know if it's supposed to, or... Like, what's Min Woo? Or Min... Sorry, pardon the Min Woo. I just... I was watching some videos of the remake of this. Um... Yeah, but that just seems to affect attack and defense. So I don't know if her intelligence will be affected if I equip her with something else or not. Uh, I'll buy some stuff and take a chance, I suppose. Sure, why not? Some silver. And I'll get some bronze. Well, okay. Okay, I'm actually going to have to, because I'm out of money now, so I'm going to have to do that another time. But... Oh, maybe I can sell stuff. I'll sell stuff and see if that works out after I re-equip here. Um, or what I can do is give Celeste the hand-me-downs. And I did buy her an extra silver. Sure. All right. Let's 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 put silver on her. Um, she can have a... Bu no, she can't because she's carrying a bow. That's fine. She can have some leather... I don't have any helmets, but anyway. Uh, let's see what I can sell. Let's see if I can sell enough to get myself some helmets. Oh, probably not. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I can get one. Two. Is there another copper? Oh, so close. So close. Alright, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy helmets at the very least for um, Bill and Andre. That's what I'll do. I'll helmet them up there. Helmet, helmet, helmet. Protect your head. Alright. Next stop, I'm going to go back to... Um, I'm going to go back to Altia. Unless... Uh, yeah, no. I'm going to go back to Altia because uh, by then I should have worked off enough money off of monsters to buy the ice spell because I feel like I really should have that. So, off I go again. Montage! <laughs> Whew. Finally.
finally here. Okay, we made it. What? And I still don't have 400 gil. <laughs> Pardon me a second. Okay, that's better. Now, I wanted to go over to the magic shop here. Oh, that's going to be a long walk back to Salamando. Hi, French Gordon. And down we go. There it is. Magic shop. All right. Let's buy some magic. I want my ice. I got my ice. Yay! And I really don't need to go to the end, but I think I'm going to anyway. Just to recharge Maria's... <laughs> Celeste's... I gotta stop doing that. Celeste's H... Or rather, MP. And I'm gonna wander down and around. I'm gonna go check out the id. I'm gonna yawn. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Ah, uh, okay. Hello, in. How are you this fine day? You're pink. Hey, Gil, I can afford it. <laughs> Hooray. And all right, we slept for half a second, and we're back on the road. And finally, I will meet you guys back in front of the cave. I'm not even going to do the fast-forward thing this time. I'll just, I'll just go, and I'll see you in front of the cave when I get there. Bye! Okay, I'm going to resume the recording here, because I'm going to take the ship, the boat thing, and I haven't shown that yet. How about a ride to Puffed? Oh, I can just afford it. Yo, how about a ride to Puffed? 32 gil. Let's go. Okay, pirate. Okay, the ship will be waiting in front of town. Which it already is. So I'll go. Boat. Hooray! I wonder if you get attacked on the way. I doubt it, though. That'd probably defeat the purpose, wouldn't it? And look at me, I'm at Puffed. Awesome! Alright, see you guys in a sec. And I'm finally back. Oh my god, the walking in this game. Uh, anyway, um, now I'm obviously not going to take you all the way through the cave like before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head in and I'm going to bounce the recording over to where I left off in the cave. I have done my best to conserve everybody's MP and HP. Celeste had to use magic a couple of times better than that. Like, the balance I have to strike between using magic and conserving MP for Celeste, because if I don't use magic, she loses her intelligence. Uh. Anyway, this is complicated, this whole system. It's unfortunate. But anyway, I will see you guys in a moment when I get to wherever, how deep in the cave I was. And here we are at the fork in the road we left off at last time. Last time we crossed the uh, giant bridge right there and went around and fought the vicious land turtle. <laughs> so here we are now. Uh, one highlight you missed from that little journey was Bill wiping the floor with like six slimes at once. It was a thing of beauty, it really was. Uh, with his level one magic. <laughs> Gosh, they really are weak against fire. I'm gonna cut this out. Be right back. I just realized I haven't showcased ice yet. I'll have to do that. Maybe I'll do that in this battle. Yeah, I think I will do that in this battle. Gonna go ahead and brutally destroy everything in front of me. I'm gonna showcase me some ice. Yeah, I was surprised because Bill doesn't exactly have strong magic power. Although his magic did kind of save us last time, so he might have gotten some benefit from that. Ice! Very prickly. Prickly. It looks prickly. My guys are doing good damage, though. Very nice damage. Like, on the regular, Andre is doing 100 plus damage. I'm enjoying this immensely. Although, relatively weak enemies, but you know. And so far, I'm doing better than I was before. Uh, I Last time, when I got to this point, I had far less MP. My, my health was okay. But I was running out of magic. That said, I didn't have to go recollect all the chests this time. So there is that. Uh, and I really don't know what to expect at the end of this. Like, I'm starting to think that Land Turtle, which I think I got the figure for his HP completely wrong in my last video. But anyway, I really think Land Turtle is, uh, was, is, whatever, the boss of this place. The kind of hidden boss of this place. Got a whole bunch of ups there. Celeste and Andre got HP up, I think, or whatever. Vitality. Eh, it's okay. 
In the door we go. Whoa. Okay, this is totally going to be the boss. I'm going to heal myself. Uh, with Min. Cure. Seven. <laughs> I love that there is a cure seven. It's just a thing of beauty. Can't save in here. So I'm going to do the cheap thing, and that is use a save state before I try this. All right. That mithril's mine! Okay. So it's a sergeant, and I feel like sergeants are the things that I was fighting in the town that destroyed me. But I am not sure. I, I, I'm going to bolt him and see. This is, I'm a little bit scared again. Um, I, I'm going to I'm gonna safe my guys, because that tends to be a good idea. Miss! Okay, that's not so bad. 22 damage. I can handle that. Okay, we're hitting him okay. It's not like Land Turtle. Land Turtle is kind of like a, a super boss at this stage. Safe! Purple protection! Hooray! You know what, if this is a boss, I'm kind of sad that there isn't, like, special boss music. I mean, like, I feel like there is a track that's kind of a special battle theme, but I haven't heard it. And, I, you know, I hope there actually is one. Also, I don't know if this guy uses magic, so I'm gonna shell, too. The sergeant... This guy really doesn't feel quite like a boss. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm treating him as a boss because, I mean, you know, it looked like he was supposed to be a boss, but so far, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not impressed. I'm just waiting for him to pull out some sort of technique and totally destroy me. Or be really, really tough to hit. There is that. Alright, I'm going to magic you again, and I'm going to whack you with an axe, and what are you going to do? Fog, dispel, mute. I don't know. Like I, I don't know. Maybe I'll um, peep. I don't know what that does really in this context. I mean, in other Final Fantasy games, I know what it does, but I don't know about this one. Ineffective. Well, it doesn't do anything apparently. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Well, that was really easy. And I got an MP up for Celeste. Which is good. Do, do, do. I got the Mithril! Yay! Alright, so it's time to... Exit my way out of here. I'm so glad I gave that spell to him. Okay, well, loss of HP. Whatever. It really does, though. It's a good thing I have Cure 7. <laughs> I love that. I love that in this game. How there's like, like, I, I don't know what the max level of a spell is. It's kind of cool though. Cure seven. Well, now that I have Mithril. All right, and along we continue. Along we continue down the road. I'm just kind of glad that cave is over. Honestly, because in the last recording, I just I hit a point where I'm like, is this place ever going to end? Uh, but the boss was so anticlimactic. And I got garlic. Uh, garlic. Okay. Makes me wonder, though, at this point, if I would stand any chance against those soldiers in Bosk. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not dumb enough to actually try it, but I have to admit, it's an interesting prospect. You know, is it just me, or, like, I never see poison do anything. Poison, it's cured so fast that, like, it's, it wears off so fast. Okay, found the mithril. I want to see about Mr. Joseph here. Oh, who are you? You're, oh, yeah, you're Joseph's daughter. Can I say something to you? Can I say mithril to you? Can I say wild rose to you? No. Okay, you're boring. Um, what do you have to say? My daughter is safe. I apologize for being so rude. I was so worried about her. Let me know if I can ever repay you. 
can say Mithril's here. The cave behind the Shemite waterfall is an old mine. Mithril can be found at its deepest point. I know. I found it there. Ugh. Alright. Fine. Fine. I met a guy in town that said something about what to do with the Mithril. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He was, like, down here, I think. I think this is him. Is it? Oh, I have to take the Mithril to Hilda. Okay. Okay. Shh. More walking. The walking. Oh my god, it's the walking. In this game. <sighs> and Andre gets agility. You know what? I think I'm going to go down to uh, Poft here and just fly. If he takes if he takes you to Altia. I don't know if he takes you to Altia. Oh, well, I'm going to fly down here. <sighs> I'm so sorry, guys. All right, pub. Pub fair. Hey, Sid. Oh, shoot, I can't remember what voice I used for him. Oh, well. It's not like that was in the recording anyway last time. Sid has a new voice. He's going to be, like, Amer Amerk. He's he's, a, he's an American dude. Okay. Hey, you want to ride my famous airship? I can take you anywhere. Yeah, sure. I'll talk to this guy to do that, huh? Want to ride on the world's only airship? We can take you to far away places in a flash. It'll cost you. <laughs> God, anybody who's from the South, please forgive my horrible, horrible Southern accent. <laughs> if that's what it is. I don't even know what accent I'm using. Anyway, yes, I do. I... Oh, I can't. I can't go to freaking Altia. Okay, fine. I have to go the long way. At the very least, I can charter a ship back over to Palm. So why don't I do that? Yep. I'm going to take a boat to Palm. Do 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 And here we are. All right. Well, I'm practically back at Altia, so I guess that wasn't so bad. I guess that's why you can't charter an airship to Altia, because, like, how lazy do you have to be? Okay. Here we are. Let's go talk to Hilda. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hello, caveman. How are you doing? In we go. Hi, Hilda. The Empire enslaved many people of Finn. They were taken to help build their warship. Oh, I should learn that. Thank you. Uh, how about the Mithril? Can I do this? Yeah. Oh, it's the Mithril. Take it to... What did I say his name was? Tobel. Take it to Tobel in the town's weapon shop. Immediately. This will surely help us against the Empire. Well, I sure hope so. It was a pain in the half to get it. Woo, boy. I think after I talk to Tobel, it'll be the end of this recording. I think. I don't know. There's a whole lot of stuff that's going to end up being cut out of here. Uh, la, la, la. And French Gordon. I've been here a whole lot. I really could have just waited until the, like, until after I got the Mithril to come and get the ice magic. Oh, well. And Tobel is in the weapon shop. Here he is. Hi, Tobel. Here, have some Mithril. Oh, Mithril, I'll start making your equipment right away. All right, that, that's great. Okay, Th does that mean I get it? Okay, well, um, there's a second person here. Oh my gosh, I got Mithril stuff. And I can't buy any, well, that's a drag. <laughs> I can't afford any of it. You know what I'm going to do? Just, I'm going to unequip the longsword. Uh... And I'm going to sell it so that I can buy the mithril thing. Yeah, that'll work. And buy the mithril sword. Yes. Okay. I'm going to equip Bill with the mithril sword. And I have no idea what I'm supposed to do next. Now, I've got the mithril. That's all well and good. So now what? Let's go see what Hilda has to say, because I feel like she's going to be my best source of information on the subject. Uh... Okay, okay, Hilda. Please give me some direction. Who are you? Destroy the warship before it's completed. Well, okay. I want to join the rebels and fight the Empire. Yeah, but you're a palette swap. You you would die. And this guy's new, too. I haven't seen him either. In Altia, Finn's... Pr oh, wait. Cave okay, fine. 
Ben, 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 Okay, cool. Let's go get that one. Oh, no, wait. This should be the caveman voice. Uh. I'm, I'm really bad at voices. Just saying. Uh, let's try that voice out on this guy. He probably has something new to say. Just come back here. If the Empire's worship is completed, all the impostors uh, be destroyed. Well, that's probably true. All right, Hilda. A mysterious Dark Knight has recently joined the Empire. He was called back to Paramecia on assignment. He's in charge of the warship's construction. Please help us destroy it. Well, let's learn more about the warship then. A group in Bovsk is trying to find a way to sabotage the warship. Please destroy the warship, or at least delay its completion. Okay, well, I guess I gotta go back to Bovsk, but uh, what about that, um... That wall of over by over in um 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 um, um shoot. What was the place? Finn. That that random wall in Finn that I could talk to. I wonder what I'm supposed to be doing with it. Oh well. Um I think I'm gonna call that a recording. Done quite a bit of stuff. Got myself some mithril. I'm good. And uh when we come back we'll be you'll be rejoining me over at Bofsk where we will see about this uh, movement to destroy that horrendous-looking airship over by the cave by Bosk. So that'll be cool. Subscribe, Facebook, all that wonderful jazz. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.